Are you gripped by fear for your family's well-being or struggling with feelings of inadequacy? Does fear of the unknown cause you to expect the worst? Has the fear of facing the ghosts of your past hindered you from fully embracing the present? Take heart. God promises that you do not have to live as a prisoner of fear. You can move from fear to freedom. You know, that topic of fear is timeless. It began in the Garden of Eden, and it doesn't look as though it's going to go away anytime soon, does it? And so, you know, fear affects women around the world. It doesn't matter what age they are. It doesn't matter what culture they come from. It doesn't matter, you know, what they do, their walk of life. But fear is an issue for so, so many women. Renowned author and speaker Grace Fox leads women in fearless faith with her newest Bible study and DVD set, Moving from Fear to Freedom, a woman-to-woman -woman conversation guide. Her quick wit, real life stories, and biblical insight have made her an international woman's event favorite. Admit it. If you are struggling with a fear of some sort, it's okay to tell somebody. In fact, it's probably healthy to tell somebody. And when, when you tell that person, you are giving them permission to share their heart with you. And then you can start supporting each other. Because so often we feel like we're the only ones feeling this way. Grace is best described in three words, daring, deep, devoted. This seven week study is a life changing course designed for use with the accompanying teaching DVDs. Grace Fox brings answers to real everyday fears. It truly unlocks fear in women's lives. Ideal for small groups, Moving from Fear to Freedom, a woman-to-woman -woman conversation guide helps women to become daring in their faith, deep in their convictions, and devoted in their relationship with Jesus Christ. Every woman will relate to this powerful study and begin to live the freedom God meant for us to have. Tonight I want to read a prayer for you from Romans 8, 38 and 39. This would be my prayer in this context. I pray that you will be convinced that nothing can ever separate you and your loved ones from God's love. Neither death nor life, angels nor demons. Your fears for today, your worries about tomorrow, and even the powers of hell cannot keep God's love away from you and those you love.